Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The Giants beat the Astros today 4-2, and, and, and really, did, did any of us expect that kind of an outcome to this series? After the Giants dropped Game 1, just after they dropped both games of the Mexico series against the Padres, I, I, I'm not sure that, that we can at all say that we expected this. It's an incredible comeback, and a team like the Astros, too. They've been in the World Series the last couple of years. That they beat the Astros is, is just huge. They, they came back to win this series, so a lot more work will need to be done, and, and it, it's hard to really trust the Giants to do it after they've come close these two other times and then fallen behind again. But all the same, I just <coughs> all the same. I, I just think that it is a refresher to see them come back and do this. Austin Slater and Mitch Haniger both had RBI singles. Joey Bart had an RBI double, and then in the ninth inning, Wilmer Flores hit a solo home run. So the Giants scored four. Logan Webb was very effective through almost eight innings. So another really good start. And another really deep start. Webb and DeSclafani are, are pitchers the Giants are really going to have to count on. And they, they both pitched very effectively over the last couple of games. And, and it was, I, I would say, just like I said yesterday for DeSclafani, I, I would say with Webb, going seven and two-thirds innings, he was very effective in terms of not allowing runs. But let's not overlook the fact that he went so deep as, as he did. Um, and, and going that deep, I, I think, just helped the Giants again in terms of their bullpen, which at best is maybe a little bit shaky right now. Scott Alexander relieved him and got one out. It, it's good to see that Alexander appears to, to be, I mean, he was really struggling, but now he's kind of getting the job done again. Um, then Camilo Doval pitched another scoreless ninth inning for the save. So Webb has really turned it around, and I totally expected him to. It, it's not like after three, or maybe it was four bad starts. My, it might have been, I don't remember now, but after a really bad start to the season, I, I still expected that Logan Webb would turn it around. It's, it's not like I thought he was going to keep pitching the way he was pitching, but I mean, obviously I still maintain the gravity and the seriousness of the situation that the Giants like can't lose his starts and, and that's why they were having such a bad start to their season. I, I had to maintain all of that, but ultimately I, I really did expect that Webb would improve and he did and, and, and today he pitched. He was just great. And the Giants won four to two, and, and and yeah, they were able to get runs, and and then since Webb was able to go into the eighth inning, there wasn't a whole lot of chance for them to blow it. So everybody worked together and did their job, and the Giants won today. Um, so after taking this series, what's next? Well. The record is currently 13 wins and 17 losses. So obviously, like I already mentioned, there's a lot of ground to cover. There's going to be a lot of ground to make up, and they just can't fall off again like they did before. And it, it's hard to know the next few days. Like, I'm, I'm not sure who's pitching, and, and I didn't check the previews. You really can't know right now because the Giants just play it differently on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's not like you can have DeSclafani and Webb start every day for them. It, it's also highly likely that the Giants will have to go to their original strategy of having maybe two multi-inning pitchers and then a few other relievers kind of coming in and throwing some innings. Um, it's it's likely the Giants will have to go back to that in the next few days, but I don't know. Um, that and that what that's going to do is hard to say. The Giants are just going to have to 
consistently be able to win games there. So if there's any concern about the rest of this week, I would say it's that, well, obviously they can't have a starter go eight innings every single day. And the bullpen is going to have to be relied on a little bit more. And multi-inning pitchers, they might use two or more in a given game. And we'll see a little bit of what we saw before. But none of that means it's impossible. I, I don't think any of that means that it's impossible for the Giants to keep up this this winning streak. Because they were they were doing it. They were killing it before. Remember, they won five straight games before they had this um, this three game slide. Excuse me, you no know, four game slide. And now they they won two. But it's just the teams gonna have to coordinate, and people can't find the wrong times to mess up and. And everybody's going to have to do their job, and they can't have someone lose it every day. I would say those are the main principles here. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.